have some bad news. Little Timmy's cancer has progressed to stage five. He does not have much longer. But little Timmy is my everything. Isn't there anything you can do? Well, there is one thing. I've developed a new wonder drug in my laboratory that could potentially save his life. Oh, that's amazing. How quickly can he start his treatment? In theory, he could start immediately. All I need from you is a complete payment of $50,000. Oh, Dr. Ambrose, there's no way I could ever afford that. With my, with my husband gone and everything, I've even struggled to pay the grocery bills. Isn't there any way you could lower the cost? My son needs this. I'm sorry. There's just no exceptions. Later that night, while Mom is leaving the hospital after visiting little Timmy, she passes Dr. Ambrose's lab and spots the wonder drug. The following scenes will demonstrate the thought processes of Mom according to each of the five stages of Kohlberg's theory of moral reasoning. What do I do? Should I steal the drug for little Timmy? No. No, I can't. I could get caught and go to jail, and I wouldn't want that kind of punishment. I don't know what to do. I think I should steal the drug in order to save my son's life. I couldn't handle the pain of losing him. It would be so hard for me to live without him. I'm so conflicted. I think the best choice would be to steal the drug. Because if my husband were here, that's what he would have wanted me to do. He would think poorly of me if I didn't do everything I could to save our little Timmy. What should I do? I can't steal the drug. It's against the law. Society wouldn't approve of this action. Where would our world be if everyone just took what they needed. I need to steal this drug. The life of my son must be preserved. Life is more important than money and possessions. Even though it's against the law, what I'm doing is morally right. <laughs> 